This is our old stereo, came with the van. It doesn't work and it doesn't have an audio jack or a USB port, so it sucks. And we're trying to pull it out using a chisel that is super messed up. Hello! Michael and I replaced the stereo in our Sprinter van. The standard stereo that it came with actually kind of sucked. I have it right here. This is the actual radio itself. So this is our old stereo and um, this is the factory version. We kind of demolished it getting it off, which I wouldn't recommend. We didn't have the tools we needed. Michael and I are trying to install the stereo in the van and we have to get the old stereo out and we can't do that. So we're basically jerry-rigging um, some kind of prying out process. It worked in a pinch. It came with just a CD player and AM, FM, CD, but it's 2016 and it doesn't have an audio jack, didn't have a USB port, the radio wasn't very good. Although this wasn't essential to us building out the Sprinter van, it's definitely something that we wanted to replace because this thing kind of sucks. So, one that we got has HD radio, iHeart radio, satellite, all this stuff. It was only about $120, so it's not that expensive. The stereo itself came with these little like hooky thingies that you slide into these slots that you can't see. We did this the wrong way. We ripped off the faceplate and then took out the stereo. If you have the right tools, this is what our stereo came with. These are not the right tools for the Sprinter van. Um, the ones for the Sprinter van are like three pronged and have a special little clip. You slide it into here and then you're able to do it on both sides. There's two little slots like this and then you pry out the stereo. And then that whole thing just kind of pulls out. you'll need a stereo and you'll also need a new wire harness. So we had to buy a new wire harness. That was like $17, wasn't very expensive. That just plugs directly into the standard um, plug that you'll see once you pull the stereo out. And you wanna plug that from the back. And that, and there you have a stereo. It has built into it this little plug here. This is where the FM radio is connected. This is the new one that we got. It didn't come with one, um, so we had to end up buying, or Michael just went and bought, this little adapter piece, Audi BMW Volkswagen antenna adapter cable. So this plug right here goes into the back of ours, and then this blue wire connects to the power control. Um, so then, this is how we're gonna get at home radio. You will have to do a little bit of soldering. Michael he used to be a jeweler, he's very good at it, and so he had a soldering set. He had solder and he had the hot little pokey thing, and I don't know what it's called, and uh, Michael and I soldered it back together. I'm not very good at it. We soldered the wires together. Fortunately for us and for you, the wires on the wiring harness all match up to the wires coming out of the back of your stereo. These are all color coded. So um, we have to solder these wires to these wires and then this just plugs in. So when we were looking at this, there's like all these wires that are coming out of the wiring harness. You have to connect them all to these wires that are coming out of the back of the stereo. We're like, oh God, we don't have a guide for this. We did a little more research. It turns out that blue goes to blue, red goes to red, black goes to black, yellow goes to yellow. So once you have that, slide it back in. So this is our new stereo, the Kenwood. And um, we have it plugged in mostly to this. Uh, that's going in there. That's where it's all plugged in. That's the wire harness. Uh, we had to buy that piece. That was extra. And we're just going to get this plugged in and then set up. Michael and I kind of tested it out a couple times to make sure that the lights work and that the volume works and that the on and off button works and all this stuff. It works! We did something right. 
And then finally, once you put everything, when you connect the wiring harness to the back of the stereo, you can kind of slide it back in, be really careful, make sure all the cords are up in there nicely. And then if you're Michael, you're gonna add a really nice little face plate. Ta-da! He wasn't satisfied with just the black background. He went in and got a really thin piece of wood, sanded it down, cut it to shape, and then slid it around the face plate. And it looks amazing. I think it looks really nice. The, um, so Michael took wood right here, and this faceplate actually comes off. I just push this button down enough. So he slid it on around this, and then this just goes back on. It's a really nice addition to the van. Like, I didn't think it really made that big of a difference, but now that when we're in the van, we can actually use the radio. It's a huge benefit. If you need to replace your stereo, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing you'd really need help with if you want to do it yourself is learning how to solder something. So go ask a friend. Surprisingly, I know a lot of people who can solder, so this worked out really well for me, but if you don't know anyone who can solder, then take it to a professional. I think it's like 70 bucks, but we're really on this whole do-it-yourself kick. So. so this was kind of a bonus video. I have a video in the works for doing the electrical, so there's more videos to come. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.